we're still on Swan's Island. Um, in the middle of the island, there's a little, there's a pretty good sized pond. Um, and there's very little access to the pond. You'd have to walk up to your hips from almost any vantage point to to get to any place where at least the fly rod could, you know, escape the birch trees. Um, this is a, a, a poem about walking with uh, my two sons back uh, when early 70s, yeah. And um, a lot of it refers to the chart, the main seacoast chart that uh, everybody has access to who, who lives on the coast of Maine or visits there and does any boating at all there. And uh, so I remember getting a chart from Murrick Morrison who who, who died a couple summers after that of a, a very sudden heart attack. But I went up to Murdoch's one day, and uh, it's, it, he lived where a house was where we picked blueberries last summer. And um, the chart was chart number 309. Okay, so I, and then I wrote this poem, and then condensed, condensed, condensed. I sent it off to the New Yorker. And uh, and, and so I got a letter back from the New Yorker, and they accepted the poem, and they said, uh, but the chart uh, is numbered wrong. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, well, you're not. I got the chart right here. And uh, so what the New Yorker does, this is a little essay about how, to, if you want to get a poem published in the New Yorker, they're going to scrutinize it, and they're going to look for every comma fault, and they're going to find something wrong with it, and they're going to add, and then they're going to tell you, you can change it if you want to. This is the fact, but if you don't want to change it, don't. You don't have to. So they're very nice about their smugness. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I, I found out that that uh, the New Yorker had the poem a week and accepted it and stuff. And so they sent a guy down the street, okay, to 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 get a chart so they can check the accuracy of every, there's a lot of stuff in here, you know. They look over here to the left and they say, no, it's over in the right, and that stuff. But it, you'll hear it in the poem. Anyway, what happened was they went down and they got a friggin' chart, all right? And um, it, they had just changed the numbering of all the charts along the coast of the state of, the state of Maine that week, you know? <laughs> That's how good they are. I mean, they're good, all right? Anyway, approaches, approaches to Blue Hill Bay, chart number, what was number 309, is now number 13313, all right? <laughs> Late June, walking the deer runs to Goose Pond after supper, summer begins. Sidestepping storm-blown poplars, dry waiting the slash from the pulpers camps 10 years ago. Keeping the imaginary straight line from Duck Island Light to the north side of Goose Pond Mountain in our mind's eyes, poking our fish poles through young hackbatack straight arms, trying to keep from snagging the green fur, the purple stars in our school desk landscape of the nautical chart. It's blue and yellow. Yellow, blue. The island woods are yellow. The evening sun sprays through from the other side of the evergreens. Wood colors, our first grade pegs arranging. We push for the first view of the marsh edged shore. Spruce stump sticks edging deep water trout, never minding the cold. We know where we are, a mile straight in on the yellow. We lose our way. My son climbs a blue spruce to see where we've been. The two sisters, Long Island Plantation. On the left, the Baptist Church in Atlantic. We head into the sun. Late June, walking the deer runs to Goose Pond. After supper, summer begins suddenly. Beyond the trees, they are landing taking off, landing, salt white, fresh blue. It is all prearranged. 
In a minute now, we shall see the pond. Nothing has changed.